Hello, my loves. I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Little Miss Bitch. Join as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below and check out my website, LaRellsMoon.com for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, guys, this is going to be a prosperity spread. You're going to have to pick a card, one, two, or three, possibly a crystal, okay, a stone. You got the white crystal, you got the blue one, and the black one. So, I am going to move the camera down for you, my loves, and I'm going to bless these cards, darling. Here we go. You must save the cards for the gods. All right, my loves, let's see what's going on with this prosperity and good blessings coming in December, darlings. Okay? December, darlings. Yes. Yeah. Don't mind my little, my, my candy. I'm going to put that off to the side, you guys. <laughs> okay, so if you picked the white stone, we're going to find out what your prosperity is looking like for the month of December, darlings. So let's see what's going on. So for the month of December, you could be uncovering your deepest and darkest fears. Okay, and there is something that you definitely need to listen to when it comes down to manifestations. It could be for some of you guys, you wanted to start your own business. Okay, you could be needing to listen to your intuition. Okay, but uncovering your deepest, darkest fears, you could be trying to start your own business. Some, some people that are trying to start prosperity work, they feel like they can't do it on their own or they don't know how to ease out of that situation. But it's saying to listen to your motherfucking intuition, baby. So let's see what these two cards are. Some of y'all could be having offers, but they're being turned down right now with the four of wands energy here. So a lot of you guys could have offers that are on the table when it comes down to prosperity or you're just really bored with what it is that you're doing and saying to listen like I said, you could be trying to uncover some of your deepest, darkest fears when it comes down to how you're going to gain your stability or how you gain your interest on what you want to put time into, okay? But I feel like you might just be turning some shit down here. There could be a message or some news that you might be receiving as well, okay? Some good news or a good message saying to listen to that message that's coming along with that page of wands energy. So for some of you guys, if you're doing a lot of prosperity work, there's some good news on its way to you, either in the mailbox, whatever the case may be, but there is something that you're going to uncover that has you in this contemplation mode, okay? Turning down offers already or having offers that are on the table, but you're going to receive some good news, my loves, okay? This is you being smart, OK, working very hard. Some of you all could be getting a new job or there could be something new that's coming along in your career that you're gearing yourself towards. OK, and I'm really seeing it could be possible third party situations that you could be merging into or merging with. But for some of you guys, it could be that there's too many people that's involved or you could have a lot of people that's uh, being affected by your finances OK, or by your security or by your job, whatever the case may be. Um, there is something you're going to uncover with your deepest, darkest fear. So if you have a talent, okay, that you're working hard towards, people watching you, okay, um, you might turn this idea down, but you might turn it into something else, okay? You see how he's poured that cup out? He might be trying to pour something else into that cup that you might be uncovering with these deep, dark fears is what I'm seeing here, my love. So... Make sure that you try to uncover all of your bases, okay? Make sure these ideas that are set ahead of you, you have a plan A, plan B, okay? That goal that you'll be working towards, I definitely see that you'll be receiving some good news coming up in December, okay? Especially towards a goal that you were working with. Also other people as well, okay? Merging things together, or bringing in an opportunity for some of you guys. It could be that you have some partnerships here, but some of you all might be turning that shit down. 
but you're uncovering a lot, okay? You're opening up a lot of um, chakras here with these deep, dark fears, especially through linear changes. You guys could be changing things in and out, um, but I definitely feel like um, for some of you guys, you're going to be gearing yourself towards partnership, and there's something you need to definitely reflect on, but really some good news here, okay? So let's see what's going on in pile number two. Here we go. So, let's see what's going on with this darling. We have crown chakra. So, there could be some ideas and thoughts that are coming into your mind, your intellect. There could be uh, refreshed ideas that are coming into your intellect. I feel you're going to be letting things flow. Okay, money could be coming very, very smooth than easy, okay? But you're going to be using your head and you're going to be utilizing a lot of your own navigation, your own thoughts are going to take you where you belong, okay? I really feel for a lot of you guys, you could be using a thinking or you're using a lot of mastery in your mind with how you're going to make this money. You're going to complete a plan, okay? And just go along with the flow and go along with your plan in this navigation, okay? Some of you guys could be driving or it could be for some of you guys, you're starting something new that's surrounded by you, especially with your reflection. Okay, you could have been noticing and watching things in your reflection, also in your mind, in your heart. Okay, look how he's holding on to his motherfucking heart, baby. Some of you all could have your own independent job, but I feel like money is going to be surrounding by surrounding you, honey. Okay, this is you flourishing and making things come into fruition. Okay, watching things come into fruition. Some of you guys could be dealing with vegetation as well, but I feel with the pentacle energy here, there definitely is something that's in your independence that's looking real smooth, okay? You could be um, starting your own job or you could already have your own business, um, but there's definitely some new ideas that you're uh, picking, okay? And you're definitely utilizing your intellect here. I feel... Um, for a lot of you with your brain power, this is going to help you come and make things real smooth and easy. There is major action that's going to be taken for some of you all in prosperity. I definitely see major things coming to fruition that are going to flow towards you, okay? If you pick card number two, you guys are making the actions happen as we speak. You're putting things to your mind. You're jotting ideas down. I feel like whatever plan you're going to set into motion, it's going to take off, okay? Um, now I do feel like there are some people who are watching you. They could be admiring you from a foreign, okay. Trying to steal your ideas, but definitely be aware of that. I do feel, um, with the five of sword energy here, you're trying not to pay any of this, any mind with, um, all of the actions that's being taken. I feel like you're numbing out all of this pain, but be aware that somebody could be watching you or watching your money is what I'm seeing here for some of you guys. If you pick card number two, okay. But I definitely feel like you will be in your independence. There will be major actions that's taken, but with this, you could also need to do some research, okay? You can look at it two different ways, but I am seeing here that there could be some people that are hurt in the background that could be out for grabs for what you have made come into fruition, especially with your own ideas, okay? But definitely a lot of things um, that's coming into fruition, um, it's going to be fruitful for you, abundance, 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 okay? But definitely be aware of the research that you need to do. Um, for some of you guys, you could be uh, putting a lot of pain into hurt is what I'm feeling here. And it could make things push into a new start, especially if you start utilizing all of your mind, okay, all of your mind space for new ideas and thoughts and putting them into motion with the Knight of Wands energy here for prosperity work and also in your futuristic business ideas. Shit's going to flow, okay? Shit's going to flow. So, my loves, be aware of doing that extra research or needing to do more research. Um, also, um, I feel like you're going to turn uh, some pain into, um, it could be like an art or an art form that you're turning your pain into um, ideas that are surrounding you for sure, okay? So, let's see what's going down with um, card number three. All right, my loves, if you pick the black obsidian, let's see what's going on here. We have share the love. So somebody might be sharing 
some new information, some new things that are coming into fruition. Okay, someone might be giving you a handout. You might be receiving some uh, legacy benefits. Okay, some more money, some money that could be coming your way that's shared through people, the people that you love, your friends, things of that nature. Okay, and I feel like for some of you guys, you're really thinking about how you're alone in these situations, even though you have a lot of love to share in abundance. Okay. For some of you guys, um, you might be feeling alone in your money, but sometimes you can find guiding light by yourself, okay? Especially looking to the stars, looking to futuristic plans is definitely what I'm seeing here. But there could be somebody who wants to bring in an opportunity towards you that definitely could be bringing in prosperity work or sharing um, ideas, okay? But I feel like there is some, there is some, there is money here that could be shared or this person could be sharing with you. Like I said, legacy um, things that are owed to you. All right. Someone definitely has their heart open, but you also could be feeling alone as well or working alone, doing things alone. Um, but I feel like you're not alone, especially if you try to find that guiding light, getting resources, people and connections and things out there. You need to start making phone calls. If you do feel alone, reaching out to people that you know are resourceful to you is what I'm seeing here. Okay. I'm also feeling like there could be somebody who's hanging around kind of being the succubus. Um, for some of you guys, if you are dealing with trying to make prosperity work or just kind of feeling just like things are at a standstill, a standmate, okay, or you're really thinking and contemplating, but that's really good because if you are thinking about it, you eventually make an action towards your thoughts, okay, especially if you have a lot of love to share. Um, but I do feel like there could be some disagreements or pettiness that's going on. Um, as far as prosperity, for some of you guys, it could be a lot of confusion through communication coming into December, December. It could be because of Mercury retrograde. But for some of you guys, it could be that you need to get out there and communicate to other people. Don't just think of the past. OK, don't be stuck in the past. Definitely look forward to the future. Don't be trying to think of these swords that you left behind. You need to think of what's ahead. OK, not the motherfucking rearview mirror. But I feel for some of you guys, um, as far as prosperity, I definitely feel like there is a lot of suspension or people are just hanging around. OK, it just becomes um, kind of boring. You could be having some ideas that are pushing you away or you could be pushing your own thoughts away um, with the ideas that you have. So it's saying to get your ass up and out there, communicate to people. Don't just sit around and let these ideas um, you know, manifest. There is somebody that wants to hear your idea that you could share um, to open up those lines of communication with feeling alone. So I definitely feel with prosperity work, you could be just waiting around, waiting for things. But it's time to um, open those lines of communication up is definitely what I'm seeing here. Try not to push um, too many things away or feel like, you know, your mind is taking you to that negative side because that could be what's hindering you from your prosperity work. OK, just do that shit. All right. Don't just hang around. Let that shit really grow into something or flourish into something that can really help you. All right. Feeling alone. Get your ass and get on that phone and communicate and email. All right. Talk. Get out there. Go and uh, make sure that you um, have sent things out on time. OK. Making sure that you reassure um, the people that are around you that there's no miscommunications or there's no disagreements or pettiness. Just go over things over and over again if you need to check and, and make sure that you feel reassured, okay? Because I feel like you might be driving yourself to all of these ideas and all of these things that might be having you um, feel like it's not going to work. So try not to leave yourself out or keep yourself down and down and out, okay? So my loves, thank you once again for watching me. I love you guys so much. And I hope that this was helpful to you all. I shall be doing more of these pick three cards and more to come. Okay. Y'all already know what it is, baby. All right. All right, my loves. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.